Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Hmm, so you have, uh, <laughs> your, uh, your divine masculine is wanting to know what's, trying to figure out what's going on with you. They want to know what's up with you. They're, they could even be talking about you to other people. There could be gossip, like they're gossiping with people about you or they're asking people about you. If not that, they just want to know what's up with you. Like they want to know what's going on with you right now. Curious about you. Trying to get information on you. Why? Aries energy. The Knight of Swords. Because they want to talk to you. <laughs> they want to, they're, they're maybe going to just appear out of the blue to want to get some type of, see what's up with you. Yeah. Sudden action, arrival, being swept off your feet. Oh, Lord. Just tell me more. Aries Leo Sag. Not Aries Leo Sag. I mean, for some of you it is. But Gemini Libra Aquarius here. We have lessons. Mm. What about lessons? Uh, this person's not ready. Here we go. <laughs> this person still isn't ready. This is like, you guys need to be apart from this person right now. But just know that they're going to be trying to come. They're either trying to get information on you from other people or they're going to come in to try to get some information from you, like about what's going on with you. If you see if you're single, who you're talking to, what you've been up to, how you're feeling. Feel you out, right? The spirit is saying that this person still has lessons to learn and their separation is necessary. This person still doesn't know what they want. There's a lot of indecision here, but they're definitely like losing sleep over something here. Nightmare situation, sorrow, regret. Maybe they're already in regret. Let's see. Tell me more about Nine of Swords. Why are they in this Nine of Swords energy? Oh, they could have possibly gotten some karma. They could be, um, for some of you, they're they're going through a divorce or a legal situation and there hasn't been like a final like verdict or something like that, or they're stressing over a legal situation. For others of you, they're going through karma. But we have ghosting. I feel like for some of you, they're worried because we have Libra energy here. I feel like they're worried because you guys have maybe like, they feel like things are unfinished between the two of you, but you've walked away. Somebody has walked away here. Either this was you or them. Somebody goes to the other person or somebody has just like walked away, disappeared. There's no contact. But somebody really wants balance to be rest restored between the two of you. Yeah, somebody's feeling left out in the cold. They're waiting for you. Mm, yeah, this person is like, this person is like having some type of like tower. Somebody walked away and somebody feels left out in the cold. What's this mean for my collective? 333 on the camera. So you guys maybe felt like there was a need to make some really, some changes, some necessary changes. What's this mean for my collective? Where do they stand? Ooh, karmic partner. What about karmic partner? Mirroring. Oh, what about that? Divinely guided. High priestess. What's this have to do with this twin flame situation? Lovers. Right? I know this. Yeah, but what about the lovers? Okay, so like you and this person still have like past life, either like past life karma or like you guys still have unfinished business with karmics. Like, and Spirit says with the mirroring aspect here, for some of you, you guys both have issues with codependency. Like, you guys need to both learn how to not need another person to feel happy and fulfilled and whole. Like, you guys both struggle with that. But, like, the, some of you guys are, I don't know, some of you guys are both involved with karmic. There's karmics here. But Spirit is saying that this connection is protected. I see that, like, there will be, like, a reunion between you and this person. Hmm. What does karmic partner mean for my collective? Tell me more about what karmic partner means for my collective. So, what about Knight of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Forbidden. Oh. Why Forbidden? The Moon. Pisces, Energy. Unawakened. This person is unawakened to this connection. They still don't really know how they feel about you. Mm. This person may want to take things extremely slow. You may not want to do the, or the, the tables are turning and you want to take things slow. They don't want to. I don't know. What does this mean for this person? Pages, so I'm telling you, this person's either gossiping about you or they're watching you. But see, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, this person's immature. They're not ready, y'all. They're heartbroken. They want to invite you out or they want to spend time with you. 
they're definitely watching you. I do feel like they're going to kind of pop in with a message out of the blue. What is their intention with this message? I see they feel or they're going to like reach out to you and they're going to feel rejected by like you're going to either. Why are they feeling five of pentacles? They're the ones feeling left out in the cold or they will be. Ace of pentacles. Why are the five of pentacles though? The hierophant. Oh. This person is leaving something behind. They're leaving. You know what's happening here? You you could you guys could both be leaving behind your karmics. It's like you and you and your person are both in the process of clearing out karmic energies. This is not just one person. This is both of you. This is it. So if you don't have people in this could be even people that are still in your energy. So if you're like, I don't have any other people, blah, blah, blah. Well, then maybe this isn't your reading. But for some of you, or for whoever this reading is for, this person is leaving somebody out in the cold, rejecting somebody. They're even, they're possibly even ghosting somebody to be able to come in and give you something committed and stable. Yeah. Yeah, there's like cycles coming to an end the world. Yeah. Hmm. So they're leaving a karmic that they were codependent on out in the cold to be able to offer you the Ace of Pentacles. What's this mean going forward? Okay, so we see, we see that they're coming in though, but I don't know if they're ready yet. Maybe they're still in the process of doing that or there's still a need for them to do that. Because, yeah, judgment, the Eight of Pentacles, they're working on what? What are they working on? Yeah, I feel like they're trying to work on withdrawing from a situation or they're trying to work on themselves. So that they can have another chance with you. This person knows that they need to work on themselves and heal if they want another chance with you. Virgo energy here. Scorpio energy here. I feel like they're going through karma for sure. Clarified judgment. Yeah. This person. Yeah. They've been a player. Taming a player. Trying to resist temptation. They're like. They're, they're going through the consequence of their actions of being a player. And maybe falling into temptation. But that's coming to an end. Or they're going through a change. This person's changing out of this player energy. What's this mean for my collective? The Six of Swords. Mm. Things are going to improve. Page of Pentacles. What's this mean for this tw for their twin? What's this mean for their twin? Yeah, this person. Things are actually about to get better with this person. In divine timing, of course. <laughs> In divine timing, of course. Surrender to the unknown. Patience is needed. Yeah, they're telling you to be strong. Yeah, this person needs to like. They their lust. I don't know. It's maybe going to like require you to take a risk why is the knight of wands here aries leo sag energy why is the knight of wands here the tower yeah some type of tower Ooh, hold up what is the tower moment for the knight of wands the waiting what about waiting the ace of cups something is going to come in suddenly for you like a sudden arrival of a person like kind of out of the blue like divinely orchestrated unexpected events it's something that you've been maybe hoping for or waiting for um, it's like new, a new beginning in love or like somebody coming in with this cup overflowing with emotion, but yeah, it's like, things are actually about to get better. Okay. With the King of Cups, the Six of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, there's like this, this person's going to be coming towards you in a new energy, devoted, protective, emotionally mature. They're very much well aware. They're well aware that they need to change. Um, yeah, like I see a reunion. I'm going to be honest, but why is the three, three of Cups celebration party friendship turns into love? It's time, divine intervention, no running. Why is the Three of Cups here, though? I don't like that. The devil. See, this person, yeah, what is this? They're not happy with some, yeah, they're not. So what does that do with the Three? What's the Three of Cups mean for my collective? Ripped apart, vulnerable in love, love exposed the truth. So it's like the love that this person has for you I feel like has broken up another situation. I don't know. That's what I'm feeling like. What does this mean for the Three of Cups? The Magician, something's manifesting. This person desires you. Yeah, to be in a relationship with you. There's this, The feelings are mutual. Wow, they see marriage with you long term. A solid foundation, something long lasting. Um, what about the Four of Cups and the Devil Capricorn energy here? The Seven of Cups. This person is confused. What is the Devil? Cold as ice, giving you mixed signals, destructive. Yeah, this type of person's been toxic. Yeah, I feel like this person had options. I'm going to be honest with you, or an option. But they're not happy with any of those other options. 
those that was, those situations were toxic anyways. But I definitely feel like that's maybe why they were being like sending you mixed signals or why is cold as ice here? They definitely had like choices or an option. The star. What about the star and cold as ice? Frozen. Yeah. Resistant to change. Yeah, but it's like there, it says fear of losing you, wanting to conquer you. Yeah, they see you as their wish fulfillment. So what are they going to do? They regret treating you this way too. What are they going to do? Look at this, guys. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This could be a double earth sign connection coming through for some of you. This person is wanting, they feel like you guys are meant to be together. They want to take you seriously because they feel like you are abundant. You're confident. They feel like they can have stability with you. They feel like you're abundant. Yeah, nurturing. Yeah, they want to give you loyalty, security. They want to take this seriously. This is like a, a, a true match here. Queen and queen, queen and king of pentacles here. Yeah, they're going to want to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, it's time and divine intervention. They're going to start running from this connection. Yeah, next stage in love, exploring the unknown. Yeah, they, they're going to want to take things to the next level. This person's got to clear out their karmics, though. And maybe you did, too. Maybe you were there were people you were still holding on to. Maybe you were this person 12, 12 on the camera as I'm saying that. So, yeah, spirit is confirming that I'm correct. By you guys clearing out these old karmic cycles, you are making way for this divine union. OK, so let's see. Why is this person wanting to get information on you? What are they trying to, whatever they're, if they're spying on you, just know this person is in regret. They're sad. They're losing sleep over you. They're in remorse. Why are they, what are they trying to get information? What's the T? See, uh, hurt and past relations, weary and guarded. They're watching you, but afraid to come towards you. Why are they trying to get information? Maybe they know you're guarded. They feel like you have a guard, a wall up with them. But yeah, we have unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, power, or or what's happening here <laughs> is this person is watching you because they've had a change of heart. They were at some point like, th for some of you, the karmic cycles that this person needs to close out is like just letting go of their past wounds from their past relationships. Like they were still holding on to that because it says, yeah, ongoing battle, weary and guarded, hurt in past relationships. Somebody could be releasing that, right? But yeah, it's like they're having a change of heart. They were not wanting to open up to you. Now they're having this change of heart and now that's why they're trying to get information or they're talking about you to somebody or they're losing sleep over this. They're trying to, they're curious about you. They're watching you. Yeah, this person's possessive over you too. Yeah, they don't want anybody else to have you. So maybe they're trying to see if you are interacting with other people. But it's like, why is this person just sitting back and watching and spying when they could actually be taking action to, you know, Spirit is saying that they're wasting their time. Yeah, prolonging the inevitable, not worth waiting for. Nothing good will come of it. What are they wasting their time on? They need to, something about there needing to be boundaries here, the light of their life. They feel like you are the light of their life, but they're not treating you like that. They're not taking the action. If that's how their actions and their feelings and everything is not in alignment here. That's why it's, they're in this very undecided uh, energy. They need to align. If they want you, if that's how they feel about you, their actions need to match that. Okay. Tell me more. You're actually kind of teaching this person and less thing. Did, what did I just say? Take act, taking action, taking control of which this is what this emperor card says, powerful and authoritative. So it's like, they're kind of like, yeah, for it, move it, will, willingness to do the work, taking control of the situation. You were kind of showing this person like that they need to maybe set some boundaries. They need to be maybe more selfish or they need to be like more, let's see, what's, what are they taking action here to do? Okay, maybe they see that you're moving on. Yeah, this person sees you moving on. You've set boundaries. They feel like you don't, you're no longer waiting on them, but they're feeling possessive over you. And I feel like you're, you're making forward movement. They see you like going out and having fun with your friends, meeting new people, networking, 
this is person's losing sleep over this. But instead, yeah, they feel like you're out of their control now, or they just don't know what to expect going forward from you. Like they don't know if you're gonna pop out with a new boo. They don't know if um they have any power and control over you anymore. Yeah. Perfect match, but they feel like you guys are a perfect match. Wow, blessed union, meant to be together. Love that transforms, divine mission together, quick connection, highly compatible. All right. So what else do they need to know going forward here? See, this person is like, yeah, they're not they're not making the right decisions. I don't know. They're being it says inattentiveness, neglect, negligence, whatever attitude, not playing your cards right. They're not playing their cards right. They're not handling you right. Yeah, so somebody they're not handling somebody that is literally a part of their soul family, somebody that they even possibly manifested. Yeah, what they should be doing is like offering you offering you love or offering if this is how they feel about you, the what they should be doing if their actions were in alignment with their feelings, they would be offering you something more traditional or stable, like yeah, chivalry. Tell me more. Fair is fair, yeah, giving you something balanced, something mutually beneficial. But what's the problem here with this person? What's the problem with them? Yeah, they're stuck in, okay, we have anger and resentment, frustration and annoyance. Maybe they're mad at you about something. What are they What are they in these negative emotions for? They're mad at you. Well, we have twin flame, which we know. We're, obviously, this is a twin flame reading, but it says, yes, they are your twin flame. Yin and yang, life forever changed. Why are they in negative emotions? Why? Why are they anger, angry and upset? They're mad because you're they're they're angry because they're you're happy, happily single. This person is offended. Instead of snatching you up and doing right by you, this person's sitting over there watching you live your best happy single life. And they're feeling like you did them dirty for that. Like, what is wrong with this person? They're mad because you chose yourself. They're mad because you chose to stay single versus whatever they were dishing out or if anything yeah that's why they're mad they're just sitting over there mad what do they what they want it's like almost like this person wants you to chase them correcting or improving something trying to fix it making the best out of a bad let's say like they're they're mad that you like things are not great going great between the two of you but you are still thriving and you're moving on with your life and you're happy like they don't like that yeah they're lurking wow they're lurking and i feel like for some of you they're still trying to make a beating beating a dead horse over whatever situation they're in they could be what is um painting r red roses yeah red flags lies and deceptions bad intentions i don't even know if it's so much that or maybe they're still over there trying to like make something work with somebody that is like a snake or that there's tons of red flags with lies and deceptions bad intentions but they're they're trying to make a bad situation good i don't know what does painting red roses and trouble lurking mean for my collective what does that mean for my collective photographs there so yeah they they're feeling nostalgic about you they're gonna return why they're gonna come back to you you know why this person's mad too <laughs> what about the rebel closed off okay what's the do it proud rebel and closed off divine love this person's having a heart chakra awakening they were closed off and for some of you, they wanted to have like a non-traditional type relationship with you or like there was like a difference in beliefs, or belief systems or family values or something like that. For some of you, their family didn't approve of this connection. I don't know, but I feel like this person maybe went back to a situation and it didn't work out or something, some type of situation that they were trying to make work or improve didn't work out for them. There was lies and deceptions there. There was, yeah, it was not good. They were dealing with somebody that didn't have good intentions for them. Whatever the situation is, I see them returning to you. Tell me more about what painting red roses and trouble lurking means for this person. What does that mean for this person? I don't know. This person, <laughs> heart, see, yeah. This person was maybe trying to run away from something that, like, they didn't want to take accountability for something that they did that was wrong. Yeah, unfaithful, love triangle, betrayal of trust. Maybe this person, maybe this person knows that you know that they had a third party or something like that. So instead of coming towards you, they feel like they, they've been trying to just make that situation be okay because they know that to come towards you, they're going to have to maybe own up to something or they know that they betrayed you. What's this mean for my twin flames? What's this mean for my collective? You're having some type of wish fulfillment coming in. In what form? 
or they feel like they're going to have to betray somebody. Like, it's like almost like they're dreaming and wishing to be with you, but they feel like they're going to have to maybe like betray somebody. I don't even know. You have wish fulfillment coming in though. Like something that was closed or that you walked away from. It's like that you thought was never going to happen for you. For some of you, it could be, let's see. Clarity that what? What is um Lady Spider Web? What's that card talking about? Trick or treat. The Empress. Yeah, this person needs to get their life together. This person's kind of low-key obsessed with you. Like, they're feeling very alone. They're feeling left out in the cold. We do have unbreakable bonds, strong and stable relationship, a love that lasts a lifetime. So this is not going anywhere. This person feels like you abandoned them. But I feel like, or they feel like they're, they're mad because if they had these other, if they chose other connections over you out of some type of addiction, poor habits of like issues with lust, whatever it was, those situations were, didn't go anywhere. Like those were just games. We have playing games, not serious, unsure of their intentions. Like when they have the, the whole ass empress, they're realizing something, maybe through exploring other options or something like that. They maybe went out there and explored other options or they had something else or they went back to some people, try to make something work. And all it did was make them realize that you were the empress. <laughs> like, I don't know. But they're feeling very alone right now. They're, they're, feeling, they're about to take a risk and open up to you. They feel like you're, yeah, they don't want to give up on this. Worth the fight, not giving up easily, waiting to conquer, fighting for your love. So somebody's about to come in and compete for you or fight for you. They view, they view opening up and being vulnerable, vulnerable with you as very risky, but this person is low-key obsessed with you. Like, they're going to feel like they have no choice but to do this. And none of these other connections are cutting it for them or going anywhere or really even mean anything to them. They were, they were in, if they were indulging in these connections, it would be out of like some type of like addiction or bad habit or something. Hmm. All right, let's get a few more and then I'm taking this to the extended reading. Maybe you guys, I feel like it's on both ends. Like some of you guys both had like loose, loose ends or what is that? Not loose ends. Um. You need to tie up loose ends. What's that saying? Yeah, <laughs> like there were cycles that you still had yet to close out. There were cycles that they still had yet to close out. I don't know. None of those situations went anywhere. They're they're gonna be they're gonna be feeling very lonely going forward here. Like they're lonely, spending time alone, and spying on you. The player. What, what did I just say? The player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Mm. Plotting. Yep. They're watching you. They're plotting. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know that you have plenty of other options. They think you're out there dating and they think you're entertaining other people. But I feel like it's more projection. I mean, for some of you, you could be. But they also are project projecting. This love journey has been long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. We have serendipity. See, this is what the problem is with this person. They feel all these things for you. They want all these things with you, but they've just been like kind of just sitting back and not taking any action, not doing what they need to do. They're just hoping that things will just happen. It, it doesn't work that way. The divine will assist you. And sometimes there is divine intervention, right? But this is one of those cases where divine's like, no, uh-uh. You messed this up or, you know, you're going to have to put in a little work to get the divine feminine too. You're not, we're just not, you're not going to just be able to sit back and we're going to do everything for you. No, the divine feminine de deserves better than that. They deserve for you to fight for them. They, they deserve for you to put the work in and bring this together, take accountability, do all those things that they don't really have really been not wanting to do to change. Yeah. Or vice versa. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. Yeah, they're just been waiting for it to happen. Something is significant about the full moon. We have all these cards coming out. Yeah, look at this. 
they're putting an end to something from their past, like a pat from the past or a past life. Like there's a past life, past life karma. I don't know. What does the endings card mean for this twin flame connection? See, they ended something or there was an ending between the two of you, but they're anxiously, anxiously waiting for you to either return or you. Yeah. Release. Yeah. They could have, for some of you, they even walked away from you or they let you walk away. And it's like, as soon as they did this, it says that they feel the sting of your absence. Like they feel very alone. They feel your absence. When they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Yeah, you guys are definitely in separation, but it says they're focusing on their own personal journey. Like I said, this person knows that they need to heal and they need to work on themselves to be worthy of you. Okay. It says in choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give. Yeah, they maybe feel like right now they don't have much to give to you, but at the same time, so they want to do right by you and offer you something more solid. But the way that this person's going about things is totally wrong, like completely and totally wrong. Yeah, their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. They entered your life to te teach you and bring out the very best in you. Now that their part in your story is over. That's not true. Yeah, and it says they search for you in everything. Feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. What does um, endings, though, mean for this connection? What's endings mean for this connection? See, yeah, I feel like they're ending something else. What is this person putting an end to? Something that was a losing battle? Something that they've outgrown? Or it's like either you you ended things with this person because you felt like you were fighting a never-ending fight with this person. It says you are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level and not theirs. Take how it resonates. Either, like I said, this you felt like you just... Yeah, like because we do have lack of faith on the back of the deck. Resistance, very resistant person. Mm. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. So it's like they they are getting it more in alignment with you, or they're getting more in alignment with themselves and realizing what the hell they want. So them getting more in alignment means what for this connection? Hopeful. Yeah, they're yeah they're opening themselves to to love. Allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. Why do we keep having this gossip energy? So there maybe is people around them that are affecting their judgment and their decisions. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. Mm. But it says the gods favor you. So they're maybe starting to, if they were listening to other people, they're starting to see things maybe your way now or seeing things, yeah, like from a different perspective. The gods favor you. Now is the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. If there's been some people that were like not being like they were not, how do I say that? People that were telling mistruths about you, things that weren't true. Spirit says you will be vindicated. They're going to start seeing the truth about you. I don't know. Tell me more about this gossip. What were these people saying or what, was, what did this gossip lead to? This person like... The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. So maybe either they're talking to people and saying that, like, you know, they feel like you're very, like, abundant and all this stuff, but they feel like you're maybe wearing them, like, that you're maybe too good to be true, or they're afraid that you're, they're wrong about you. They're not sure if they know you well enough. Told you they're watching you for sure. They've been watching your social media, what you post, and get, get clues on how to approach you. Mm. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. Yeah, they're healing from some old either childhood wounds or past relationships, spending time in solitude, I told you, but also feeling very lonely, all right? But this is going to give them the opportunity to get to know themselves better. Give me one more card. What is this gossip? One card. Oh, children? What about children and gossip? Dealt a bad hand. They wish they met you at a different time. Maybe there's some like things, some rumors or like there's some things that you think about this person or some things that they think about you that aren't true. Mm. What about children though? What is children? That just opened up another can of words. Yeah, at last. They don't want to give want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. We already had forbidden fruit come out. They're gaining a new perspective about you. Awakening. Yep. Why do they feel you as the forbidden fruit? Why do they see you as the forbidden fruit, though? Resurrection? 
So this is they are going to try to bring this back together. Oh, because they put you on a pedestal. That's why. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. So, yeah, they're afraid of you. I'm telling you, this person is heavily watching you. We had watching you and investigating. They are secretly snooping around and asking friends. So maybe that's what it is. They're, the, the gossip is them trying to get information on you from other people. I don't know, guys. They're snooping. They're watching you. They're talking to people about you. They're wanting to see if you're with somebody else. This person needs inner child healing. Like, that's why the child card keeps coming out. This person needs healing from their childhood. They know that they're like maybe realizing that their childhood wounds was like when they met you, they were deep with the deep in like the depths of their childhood wounds. Right. And they maybe sabotaged this and they now are a little bit worried that they'll never be able to see what the this could have led to because they let their childhood wounds and their past wounds from past relationships, um, you know, maybe block this. I didn't read this card. I forgot. But yeah, power couple. They see both. They see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you an unstoppable couple. So, yeah, they, yeah. Wow, overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love. It's so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, this person definitely has vices and demons that they needed to conquer. Possibly even some things that they were not wanting you to find out about. All right, about, all right, about.